Hello there, it's Lock Noob again. Uh, in the post just the other day came this Master Lock combination dial padlock. Um, I don't know what colour it's going to be, but I quite like this shiny metallic green. Um, compared to um, the combination dial padlock in my other video, which I, I successfully shimmed, uh, this one is supposedly an anti shim uh, padlock, and uh, that is true. I've tried shimming it with. Um, some standard shims and things and uh, you, you can't shim the shackle um, however this this metal here I don't know if it's steel or aluminium it's it's so so um, so easy to, to mark and you can see where I, I even just by trying to insert some simple shims in into this lock it has uh, marked up so bear in mind if you do get one of these they're, they're not made uh, particularly well truthfully it, they, you know they're certainly not made all out of some like really nice thick meaty steel um so anyway uh this to be fair is only given a number three rating in terms of their one to ten scale so i think they recognize that this isn't the you know the uh high security lock uh though it does say it is anti-shim which is quite nice um and just for the record this is the one five 30 DCM 1530 DCM lock. Okay, so that's why now. Good, that's out of the way. Um, there's quite a few videos on how to uh, get into these locks. Um, I thought it'd be worth adding my opinion and uh, method of getting into these if you don't know the, the combination lock. Uh, it's a combination, sorry. Um, on the back, it tells you that it's 35, 20, 37. Remember those numbers if you like. Um, as with all of these, uh, to try and decode it, you are going to apply some uh, attention to the shackle. Um, and having tried this a few times, it's not quite as easy as they make out in a number of the videos. Um, I've got a white pillowcase here to try and do some um, blind shuffling on. I mean, if you already know the numbers and you can't change combination, um, it's very easy to kind of fake that you've uh, found the tension. So I intend to um, try to find the, the right tension of the lock underneath this so you can see that um, I, I really am trying to feel for where those uh, positions are okay a couple of things is if you do pull the shackle and you turn it you can hear it's got notches um, in the dials itself that I think are false gates they're put in there um, to stop you from being able to feel where the, the actual gate is, where the bars drop down um, uh, into, into the, the discs of the lock to help you, uh, well, to allow you to open it. Um, that does hold you back a bit, but the real gate does feel different. The only way you'll know that is if you get one of these locks and you practice on it. Um, so if you went cold up to this lock, I think you'd find it very, very difficult to actually find um, which is the correct gate unless you are very used to this type of lock um, and and maybe even more skilled than I am um, uh, but then again I don't pretend that I am in any way particularly skilled so um, how do I find the the combination well the first thing to do is to turn the lock um, th three times at least three times in the clockwise direction and then what you're going to do is put light tension on the shackle like that and you're going to turn it um, around um, and you'll notice that as I turn it around you might notice that the shackle actually depresses and then pops back up inside of that false gate. And the idea is I'm going to keep turning it around. If I put too much tension on it binds up completely. If I put too little tension on it just it revolves around freely. What I'm, the, it's hard to describe, but the tension you need to apply to this lock is enough that you can feel every click of the false gates in turn just enough to allow you to move it forward, okay? Um, if you do that, keep turning it around and around and around, adding slightly more tension each time until eventually one of those numbers will bind up, all right? So um, I'll, I'll give it a good old spin. Let's give it a bit more. Just make—I mean—I want to make sure, really, really, really sure that um, we are uh, completely bound up. I'm going to put my 
uh, very nice clean pillowcase over here and I'm going to apply tension to the shackle and turn and I should that last one was quite hard and that's really bound so let's see so ah, uh, here we go so we're when we're around here now the important thing is is that you'll bind up at a certain number but it's the gate around that number that you want to get so put tension on you'll notice it's bound I let go and it's bound that way as well bound bound so somewhere around 34 and 36 and a half ish so it's the center of that that you want so it's 35 it's the only way I can describe it it'll bind Whichever way you turn it, it'll bind before and after that number, um, and it's a centre number, so 34, uh, 36, so it's got to be 35. Um, so that's how I managed to find that. You keep going until it binds, and then you try to find the number it's bound on, and it's between the two gates, okay? So between the two gates, equidistantly, so that would be 35. So what do you do next? Well, you clean it all down again go to 35 which is a number between the two gates and then so you turn it to 35 and then you turn it back all the way around once to 35 and you need to go from there okay so this is going to be your next number use the same technique you put tension on the shackle just enough so you feel every single click that shackle up and down but not so much it binds on each one and eventually you'll find um, a number which it binds strongly against so let's try it again Okay, it goes under the cloth. I try and put some uh, tension on and we see what we get to. Hopefully you can hear it clicking as I go around. That's binding strongly but goes. I really can't turn it much more than that. Okay, and there we go. So. As you see here, again, it's 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 somewhere between um, it, the gates here, um, but this is, feels tighter. You can see that it moves, um, but it's bound um, between oh, numbers uh, 19 and 21, so it's going to be 20. Um, and that's when you put the strap on. So the first one is uh, the first number. Um, it binds before the number and after the number okay very tightly the second number binds um, a lot closer together between the gates so it's going to be 20 there okay so let's try this again clean it all down here we go let's see if I'm right so 35 turn it back around to 35 then turn it all the way to 20 now the last number is easy, and I don't need to put this under the, the cloth at this point. You put tension on, same like I said, you've got to put enough tension on that it turns, um, be feeling each false gate, but enough tension on that when it does reach the right gate, the shackle opens. Not that one, 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 not that one. There we go, open. So, uh, is this as easy to do as some of the videos make out? I don't think it is. I think that apart from the fact it's made of um, some really cheap aluminium or steel, um, uh, it's you know it is quite good in terms of you can't shim it. You can have a look in. Uh, I don't know if you can just see in the light there um, that the locking mechanism is uh, multi grooved and um, instead of rounded, it's it's flat. Um, so if you do try and stick a shim in, you can't move it around to push the the, the pole back. And you, if you put a shim in here, it digs into the grooves, um, these kind of little grooves in the uh, or teeth, if you like, on the pole, and um, that stops you from pushing it down. There are videos of somebody successfully shimming this using um, a strip of um, metal from a from a bean can or something similar, a soup can. Um, which does work. I, I want to try that out, and maybe if I do, I'll uh, I'll post a video of, of me um, demonstrating that 
that method of shimming is, is, is correct. But other than that, it's, um, you know, it is a, a low security lock. Master lot recognized that. Um, I quite like it. It's quite shiny. I'd use it probably, um, you know, somewhere safe, like a work locker or something like that, maybe. All right. Um, like I said, if you're interested in, in it, buy one of these locks. Uh, they're relatively cheap. Have a go, but don't expect that you'll feel those gates, um, straight away like i said there's a few youtube videos on how to do this it's a little bit harder to do than maybe they make out or maybe i'm just rubbish at doing it and it's quite easy but nevertheless i you know i've shown you i can do it and uh, feel those gates blind um so maybe i'll see you next time